Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Safe space which be awesome, where we are just approaching, I assume, the end. Oi, do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need a link to the memory for mementos first. Let's go back to the overworld and figure out where, uh, figure things out while we do that. Well, alright. Oh, okay, well then. What the heck? Okay. Uh, just, just wait. Oh, holy shit! Oh my god. What in the fact that's just happening? In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Okay. So I presume our, uh... Our plan didn't work out then? Neil, what's taking you so long? Oh, this place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay, so let's see here. Got a paper airplane there. No, ah! Okay, I'm trying to figure it out, Jesus Christ. Um, oh. Gotta do a paper airplane first. How do you fucking, what? Eh? Oh, there we go. There's a flower over there. Haha, I did it. Alright, so. There we go. Boom. And, of course, last one. There we go. Did everything. I've connected it all, and I'm amazing. I think that's all of them, but... Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, that ain't good. That ain't no good. Oh! Oh, that is no... That is good. Was that a... I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. <laughs> I presume that uh, they've taken too long and now he's just actually going to die. Um... Okay. <laughs> What is this place? Oh. Okay. And just walk onto that. Ah, some lifetime stuff. His memories, they're falling apart. Oh, well, I'm not going back there, I guess. See what we got here. They call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that for you. I won't forget about you. Go over here. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And I, I find myself here, just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why you're, we are here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Nothing else specifically I can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. We only have so much time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all we want that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. Oh, we're going diagonally now. Shit, 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 shit! No, shit, shit, fuck shit. There we go. On top of it, Seb. Did it spill on your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have all the waste all the lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? 
Ah, they appear to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when the, you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. So it's not actually regrets that he had. He just saw them that way. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote. Uh, what we wrote of it all. What? That's a weird way to word that sentence. Yeah, so he doesn't, like, he sees things as regrets, but, um, she, like, they actually weren't, because she was fucking happy with him. Why was this not part of that memory earlier? Ah. Huh. Oh, there we go. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. Oh, but... I don't... I mean, I, apparently there's more. I'm not tossing anything aside. We all have regrets, but it, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Put cursor on screen. Put, why are these? They don't just seem like randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedatives wearing off? Uh, You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You're, uh, you're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> hey. I know it's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is? And all that could be? Ah, That's real fucking nice. Okay, look, I'll get it. I got it! I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here, you can come and get me now. <laughs> All the arms. Yeah, okay. Damn it, I really thought that was it. Oh! Wormhole time. Oh, wait. Is that really the only way to. Oh, God! <laughs> <Bu -boof. laughs> Where the hay have you been? <clears throat> I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon food, spoon feeding, but I guess that's what it takes when we're in the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Decided if it wore off already. You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can't it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. Now, nah, we're not going to erase you. What we're going to do is erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. 
uh, one that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What are you trying to imply? No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of a fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to hurry, get, get out here. And by might want to, I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of this really matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. Nah, we might not have the time. But what about that? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Well, that ass, all procedures would be internalized, so much could... <clears throat> so much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that, it hasn't been done uh, for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's the alternative? Just leave and mark this off as a write-off? What about legal complications and the contract that says... Oh, come on, Ava. When has the contract stopped us? Oh, guys? Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right on one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet... In all his, of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. <laughs> Full admin access transferred to unknown credit. Credit till number symbol underscore fucking percentage fay. God damn it. <laughs> Couldn't figure shit out. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Oh, <laughs> Whoa! Well, for what it's worth, I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. <laughs> out here. <laughs> Colin's counting on you. Oh, uh, are we gonna get a fucking emotion packed scene of just Faye fixing everything? <sighs> or is she gonna change nothing because she was satisfied with it? Hmm. Hey! She's gonna 
change something then, it looks like. I don't, I don't know. I have no I have no clue. Fucking good old scene though. That was that was nice. I enjoyed that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. His blood pressure is dropping. The vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. Aww, this is real nice. Ah. Uh. Sorry for your loss, please take all the time you need. I'm not gonna do the voice. <laughs> I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, uh, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. Hey, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. I felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but. Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess to report, of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. Dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. Ah, oh, and he's explaining anything. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last memories... moments. Oh! Hey, Sophia, you said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. Um, is he gonna fucking burn the book? Oh, they're burning the book! Oh no, they're seeing the invisible ink! Oh, okay. Hey!
as we dream and as we grow We have to learn to let things go But let the wonder never fade Though we've turned ten thousand pages Flying high or stuck below I've searched for meaning amidst doubt I finally figured that part out And all the stories inside me Feels like I'm bursting at the seams And you're here after <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want to have to read anything. I'm so fucking emotional. You know how hard it is to cry silently? <laughs> I'm not gonna do voices right now because I cannot handle anything. Ugh. Whew. Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. Whose fault is that now? Oh. Listen, I wish you were under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay, I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Fucking damn, don't say shit like that. God damn it. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets. Yeah, I have a lot of those. But that's okay. The chances I missed the mishaps and all that I wish I had. Well, they are still a part of it. Then they... <laughs> I'm fucking still emotional. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose here. Alright, hopefully the mic didn't pick that up. You go on, they're waiting for you. It's time to go home.
Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for <laughs> fucking stop. Thank you for having been there, uh, even when nobody else was. Damn it, this is really emotional. That's that game. <laughs> Fucking, I'm still crying, cause holy shit, that was so good. I didn't expect the emotions to hit as hard as they did. And I don't fully understand why they hit me so hard, because I don't have the exact same sort of situation or life experience. Um, sure I regret things, but not, <clears throat> not to the point where it, like, you know, matters to me. Oh wait, wait, there's might be more. Oh. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Um, like, the main thing I want doesn't really apply here. <laughs> I'm having a good old life, I'm enjoying myself. Um, yeah, I mentioned that I had the imaginary sort of situation in college, but I've since moved past that. I'm, I've filled out more as a person, I guess you'd say. And that's fucking... That's really nice and sad. <laughs> I love the entire experience. I don't think the ending would be that sudden, but I mean, here we are. The fucking mafia scene. But yeah, it's, what a good game. The people who make this game, um, the the, the Freebird people. Uh, first of all, please give a 16 by 9 ratio for your game. That'd be that'd be really nice. But secondly, what the fuck? You, you ballers, you, you know what the hell you're doing, and you're amazing at it, and I loved it. Fucking, I'm teary-eyed because of all the beauty of the story. And I love the characters, and they're, <laughs> they're really good. Um, yeah, other than the, the clunkiness of the controls, which is sort of a product of the way the game is made. Um, otherwise, I have no complaints. Just an amazing series. I'll hold a deer for a long time. Oh, yeah, here, here's the epilogue scene. Oh, wait, hang on. What? Okay. So, Where are you? Well, I am out squatch drinking him. You said you'd be here. I'll say to visit... Like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after... Hang on, I gotta... I gotta do a thing. Needed to plug in my headphones, I didn't want to ruin the moment. Dr. Rosaline, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, yeah, where were we? Oh, God. Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. Oh, I see you to knock and not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? Hey, name it, Rob. I don't, I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? 
You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. Well, fuck. <laughs> Please don't get no. I mean, I did all those things. That's that's cool. Apparently, they don't know what's next. I don't I don't know what's next. Damn it. Thank you for having been a part. I appreciate the thank you, but what's next? Damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping I'd get more answers than questions. And I'm not entirely sure I might have. I don't really fully know. <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll escape when I'm done talking. So, great game. Um, I love the series. I love that one in particular. Um, I'm not sure how I felt about the first To The Moon game, because, like I said, I watched it originally. But I experienced Finding Paradise with you guys here today, so I don't even know um, <laughs> how I would compare them. Uh, the mini shows are alright. Um, I really love the bird story, but it didn't hit me emotionally. It was just a really nice, fun, loving experience. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I'll, I'll pay attention to these guys and see what comes of it, but hopefully, you know, there's, there's some answers, because I'm fucking curious. God damn it. Uh, but now that they have, they ha just have Faye, so they're gonna, something's gonna happen there. But, uh, as for the, the game as a whole, um, I'm getting worse and worse over time about summing up games at the end of them. I may just drop it eventually, but for the most part, I really enjoyed the entire experience, both with the series and just with this game itself. I fucking love Faye, she was a great character, um, she was... You know, it's funny. I wanted a friend like that growing up, um, and I sort of did, but uh, until I moved to the city, you know, regardless, um, I always wanted a fucking fun-loving, punchy-punch girl who was not the smartest, but definitely full of heart, and your best friend. That's what I wanted growing up, and that would have been amazing. Um, regardless, um, I enjoyed Finding Paradise. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... And if you guys... I'm, <laughs> I should really talk more about the actual scenes in the game. Fucking the emotions that hit me. Oh my god, I was legitimately crying at the fucking end of this thing. And they had like the, the real life situation of the, the kiss right as he was dying. And he fucking kissed his wife in the memory as he was dying. And that was fucking. That was really good. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot I could talk about, and I really should. But for the most part, uh, I, I don't really have anything specific to say. Just, uh, don't be afraid to cry. <laughs> enjoy shit, man. Enjoy enjoy things in your life. Don't let, don't let, I'm not going to go on a huge tangent rant, but just take the time to enjoy shit, you know? Just see a thing you like and be like, I like it. And then, you know, get into it, get involved. I enjoyed the shit out of this game, and I fucking ain't afraid to tell you that I love it. So, without further ado, I just want to say thank you guys so very much for being on this journey with me, for being on this paradise. We found it! We found it! It took so long of searching, but we finally found the paradise we were looking for the whole time. As as it turns out, it was in us all along. <laughs> Wait, that fucking lesson of the day that everyone makes fun of. The, the paradise was inside you all along. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for, for joining me. Uh, I've been Kiwi. You've been great, too. Don't ever change. You're amazing people, and I love each and every one of you. I couldn't be here without you guys. So thank you, just in general. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Kiwi. You've been great, too. And you have yourself a delightful day. I'll see you in the next series. I love you. Mwah. Goodbye.